Hello, welcome back to Homeschooling Through High School. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for checking our channel out. And if you're returning, thanks for joining me. Now, last night I was able to go and see the Homeschool Awakening led by Kirk Cameron. And I'm going to tell you what I didn't like right away. I did not like that there will be no more opportunities for others to go and see it. So I know many people were not able to go and watch it last night, maybe because of the time or just because it was a two day showing. And I hope that it will be available for other homeschooling families later on to check it out. Uh, it was more of a documentary, not necessarily a movie, and it was just nicely done. So that's what I didn't like about it. Now, some key points that I did write down is that kid, uh, kids had the freedom to fail in a homeschool environment, and that was it. just something that just touched me, so I jotted that down. Also, as homeschoolers, we need to remember that we are teaching kids. We're not teaching content. And so sometimes we need to just step back a minute and check and push the reset button and remember that we're teaching our kids, not necessarily content. Kind of like a play on words there. Another thing that I really enjoyed and I jotted down as well is when your child's spirit is off, learning's not worth it. And that can be in any situation. It just doesn't have to be in the homeschool environment. Think about this. If it happens in the public school, your child comes home, and you can sense that their their spitters off, why continue with homework right away? Stop, check them out, have a chat with them, see what's going on. So I enjoyed that as well. One thing that I already know this, and, and I know most of these things, but it's just good to hear it, is to look at other homeschool options. You do not have to teach everything yourself. There are so many opportunities out there these days. And so, especially with my ninth grader, uh, there are some things that we will outsource and then there's some things that I will teach and my husband will walk alongside and help me as well. So looking at other homeschool options other than just you being the teacher, hey Sage, <laughs> uh, is, is just a great option to have. The homeschool awakening was very, very reassuring it was uh, gave lots of confirmation. Uh, and like I said, not that I didn't know already. I know that God called me to do this. And so I am moving forward with it. But it was just, it was just refreshing. So I do hope that you will have an opportunity to be able to watch this in the future. Hey, you <laughs> silly. <laughs> and uh, I'll leave you with just a few more points from the movie is that they end up with better socialization skills across generations. Now, um, I get that question all the time. What about socialization, blah, 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 blah. But I do know that um, that is something that I look forward to knowing that they are able to interact with a variety of ages pretty much every day from their youngest sibling, or if we're at a co-op, people that are younger, all the way to um, middle age, et cetera, elderly, so forth and so on. Not saying that others aren't able to do that. Uh, however, I know that when we are asked about socialization and why aren't they just with their peers, you know, I was blessed to be in a public school, but then after school and on the weekends, I socialize with people from all different ages. And I think these days um, that might be missing a little bit uh, depending on your situation. And I just want to encourage you that if this documentary does come out at another time, whether on video or streaming or whatever the case may be, it's a good one to make sure that you watch. So until next time, thank you for watching Homeschool Through High School.